Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dr. Jailbreak with another edition of iOS Inside Track. And finally, Absinthe 2.0 has been released to the public. And this is your 5.1.1 untethered jailbreak for the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS, the third generation iPad, uh, iPad 2, iPad 1, iPod Touch 3rd Gen, 4th Gen, and the Apple TV 2G. So before we get started, let's make a backup using either iTunes or iCloud. And to do that, you just open up iTunes, right click on your device name, and click on backup. And once that's done, um, you would also want to uh, d temporarily disable your passcode if you have one set on your device. Uh, iPhone users that rely on an unlock, uh, go ahead and stay away from this for right now. Um, do not upgrade to 5.1.1 because it will upgrade your baseband. So you guys just sit tight, um, hopefully Snowbreeze or something, um, Ponage tool, something that will preserve the baseband will come out shortly. So now what you guys are going to want to do is download Absinthe 2.0. For either Mac or Windows, I have both links in the video description, and you're going to want to extract it to your desktop. And I went ahead and put it into a folder, and then you're going to click on the absinthe-win.2.0.exe for Windows, and the Mac one is probably something similar with Mac. And when you open this, it's going to do a command line prompt and it's going to extract absinthe into the folder so if it's just on your desktop um, and not put in a special folder what it's going to do is just uh, create a folder on the desktop so look for it and once it's done make sure your device is plugged in and you're going to open up absinthe and I'm jailbreaking the iPhone 4S on 5.1.1 and once your device is plugged in you will see the jailbreak button appear click on it and just sit back and wait and once it's complete it'll say done and enjoy so now I will show you guys how to set up Cydia and once you have Cydia on your springboard, you can go ahead and open it up and it will start to refresh its sources and packages. And once it's finished, you should see things listed under changes. Now, if you guys are coming from a tethered jailbreak and um, you want to make it an untethered jailbreak rather than restoring to 5.1.1, and re jailbreaking using Absinthe, you can open up Cydia, go to search, and type in Rocky. And you should see Rocky Raccoon 5.1.1. Click on that and install. And that will enable the untethered jailbreak for your device. So that's it. Please rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Check out my links for Swagbucks and Dropbox. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, anything at all, feel free to ask. I'm always here. Cheers.